How's it going everyone? My name is Dan, but you can call me Malone. And let's be real, nobody likes paying taxes. After all, you're putting in all the hard work to earn your money. And when everything is said and done, a significant portion of that money is being handed over to the tax man. It's not a nice feeling and I totally understand why you might be frustrated. However, try to understand that taxes are, in many cases, not only inevitable, but they're also necessary for funding the things that are needed in any functional society, like healthcare, Care, welfare, housing, and so much more. With that being said, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing everything in your power to legally minimize the amount of tax that you're paying. This isn't a charity. Nobody is expecting you to pay a cent more in taxes than the minimum amount that you can legally get away with. But don't be naive. The tax man isn't going to come knocking on your door telling you how to pay less taxes. That responsibility is on you. And if you're not aware of some of the most common and effective ways to reduce your tax bill, then you're going to end up paying much more tax than you need to be. But you're not going to let that happen. Over the next 10 minutes, you're going to learn about the methods that the most successful and wealthiest individuals have used to pay less tax and grow their wealth. These are methods that can be used by anyone living anywhere in the world. Not only are these methods super easy to apply, but they'll also save you hundreds of thousands in tax over many years. All I'm asking in return is that you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and show your support by leaving a like and commenting down below with the country you're from and your favorite tax saving tip in that country. All right, so the first tax reduction method is to maximize capital returns and minimize earned income. In nearly every tax system around the world, earned income, that is money you earn from doing paid work, is taxed to the nth degree. In the US in 2022, the higher rate of tax on personal income is 37%. In Ireland, it's 40%. In the UK, it's 45%. And in many cases, this is before before additional taxes on earned income are even considered. It could very well be the case that for the highest earners, you're giving up 50 or even 60% of your earned income to the tax man over a certain limit. Point being, income which you earn from work is taxed very heavily. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a salary. Obviously, you have to make a living, and that's why I said at the beginning of the video that paying some amount of tax is inevitable. Instead, what I'm saying is that you should do what the wealthy have done, which is to maximize the amount of money which is coming from capital and minimize the amount of money which is coming from earned income. What do I mean by capital? The formal definition of capital on Investopedia is anything that grants value to its owners. But to make your life easier, you can just think of capital as money which you put to work to earn you even more money. For example, investing in the stock market. When you purchase the stock of a given company on the stock market, the stock which you own is capital. So why would you want to maximize the amount of capital you own? The reason why is because the profit profits which you earn from capital are not taxed until you decide to sell the capital. In other words, if you buy 10,000 euro worth of Apple stock and five years later, that stock is worth 20,000 euro, you won't be taxed on the 10,000 euro of profit until you decide to sell. That 10,000 euro profit is what's known as an unrealized capital gain. And unrealized capital gains are virtually never taxed until the capital is sold. What this allows you to do is control when and even if you pay tax on your profits. Compare this to a situation where you get a raise of 10,000 euro in work. Straight away, that 10,000 euro is going to be taxed as earned income and you have no control over it. Plus, in many countries, capital gains, when they are eventually taxed, are taxed at a rate which is much lower than the tax rates which apply to earned income. In the US in 2022, the maximum federal tax rate on capital gains is 20% for assets held longer than 12 months. In the UK, capital gains can be taxed as low as 10% while in Ireland, they're taxed at 33%. So not only do you have more control over your tax with capital gains, but capital gains themselves are also taxed more favorably than earned income in many countries. So what you want to be doing is taking as much of your after-tax earned income as possible and investing it in capital assets like stocks and real estate. Over time, the value of the capital which you own will increase, but you won't have to pay any tax on the profits until you sell. Not only is this tax efficient, but it also allows allows you to protect the value of your after-tax money from inflation because it's being invested and thus constantly growing in value over time. The second tax reduction method is to fully utilize retirement accounts. Let me explain. The government really wants you to save and invest for retirement, and here's why. It's estimated that by 2050, the number of people aged 80 and over will have doubled in the EU. When coupled with falling birth rates, that will result in there being fewer than two working adults for every older person in retirement. That presents 
is a major problem for governments because they'll have significantly more people in retirement for longer and at the exact same time, less workers on a relative basis paying social insurance contributions out of their paychecks. In short, there will be much less money available to pay for the retirement of older people by 2050. What that means for you, the worker of today, is that there are no guarantees that the government will be able to provide you with monetary support in retirement. The government knows this and one of their solutions is to make private investing for retirement very tax efficient. For example, in Ireland, when you invest money into a retirement account, that money goes into the account tax-free, which is an automatic 40% return on investment because you're not paying any income tax on the earned income which you're investing. Any growth on that investment within the account is also completely tax-free. And when you eventually withdraw from the account on retirement, you can take 200,000 euro out of the account again tax-free. I'm not saying that these exact rules would apply to your country because the rules are different everywhere in the world. But I'd be very confident in saying that you could save thousands on your tax bill by investing in retirement accounts. So it's definitely worthwhile researching what retirement account tax benefits are available in your country. I firmly believe that as we get closer to 2050, investing in retirement accounts will become the most powerful tax avoidance tool available to average workers. Third tax reduction method, game the tax system but in a good way. What you need to realize is that the tax system of any country is just a set of rules that are designed to encourage certain economic activities while discouraging others. That's it. The wealthiest in our society understand that in order to minimize their tax bills to virtually zero, their money has to be coming from sources that are encouraged by the tax system. What do I mean by that? Well, consider a self-employed business owner. When you're self-employed, the tax system allows you to deduct many of the expenses and capital investments associated with your business against the income which you earn from that business. In other words, what you put into your business can be deducted from your business income. In many cases, this allows you to continuously invest in your business to earn even more money while also keeping your tax bills low. You can't do that if you're an employee. Another example would be real estate. When you invest in real estate, most tax systems will permit you to deduct the expenses and capital investments associated with your properties against the income which you earn from those properties. So it's all about asking yourself, how can I start making money from sources that are encouraged by the tax system? And it makes sense why certain economic activities are encouraged. Business owners provide jobs, landlords provide housing, retirement account investing provides security. You need to shift your mindset and understand that the tax system is just a game. And like any game, it has a set of rules, which if understood can be used to your advantage. Is it a case that every wealthy individual knows every rule of the tax system of course not. But what they have is a good tax advisor and the value of good tax advice can't be underestimated. The fourth and final tax reduction method is to utilize low tax countries. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should move to a country solely for the purposes of reducing your tax bill. However, it is important to be aware that many countries have much more favorable tax rules than yours. Meaning if living abroad was an option, then I'd recommend researching to see if there's a country where you'd like to live, which also also happens to have low tax. There is only one major country in the world that taxes on the basis of citizenship, and that's the US, which makes avoiding tax by moving to a different country very difficult for US citizens. Fortunately for the rest of us, the majority of countries use a residency-based tax system, meaning whichever country you are considered to be tax resident in is the country in which you'll pay tax, for the most part. The great thing about tax residency is that you can change it, and how you change it is by living in a a different country for a certain period of time, typically 183 days. Say you want to save for a house, you might consider moving to the likes of the Cayman Islands for a few years where there is no income tax. You then earn lots of tax-free money in Cayman before moving back to your home country when you're ready to buy. Actually doing something like this has only become more and more accessible with the rise of remote working. Nowadays, you can have an employer based in one country while the employee carries out their duties in a different country, even for business owners it might be more beneficial from a tax perspective for you to operate your business from one country over another. So if living and working abroad is an option for you, it's definitely worthwhile talking to a tax advisor about how you could make that happen. So the four tax reduction methods you can use to avoid paying taxes like the rich are A, maximizing capital returns and minimizing earned income. B, fully availing of the tax benefits associated with retirement accounts. C, gaming the tax system by ensuring that your money is coming from sources 
which are encouraged and D living and working in low tax countries. Now that you know how to reduce your tax bill it's time to learn more about what you should be investing in to maximize those capital returns. Check out this next video where I unveil the three biggest investments in my portfolio. I'll see you soon.